In this lesson, we'll cover how to use a lux meter to measure your display's peak luminance. We'll also touch on how you can get this value using a colorometer or spectro, along with calibration software. When we talk about measuring peak luminance, that's just a fancy way of saying that we need to measure the display's maximum brightness for a given setup. During the MV setup, we'll enter the measured peak luminance into the display configuration menu. This setting is essential for optimal HDR tone mapping. There are many factors that determine the peak luminance. For a TV or wall, the peak luminance depends on the unit specifications, selected picture mode, user settings, and any calibration, among other factors. For a projector setup, the peak luminance depends on even more factors, including the projector specs and user settings, such as the laser power, the iris position, the amount of lens zoom, the selected picture mode, a color filter, if used by the display, and any calibration. The throw distance, screen size, screen aspect ratio, and the screen gain also play a big factor. With all these factors affecting the peak luminance, it's no wonder why we actually need to measure it and not estimate it based on specifications alone or past installations. It's also important to measure the peak luminance only after the setup and any calibration is completed. That's because during the setup, you'll make adjustments that will directly impact the maximum luminance. So, although we're covering how to measure peak luminance here, you'll want to measure and set this value in the MB menu only after the setup is completed, along with any calibration if you're doing one. Now, let's cover how to actually take this measurement for projector-based systems. First, bring up the MB's full field white pattern. We covered how to access this pattern in a previous lesson. Next, if you've configured different settings for your display for HDR versus SDR, such as different laser levels or different iris positions, you must manually set your display to use your HDR settings while displaying this pattern before taking the measurement. Okay, we're now ready to take the measurement. With the MV's full screen white pattern displayed, stand at the screen and place your lux meter just in front of it with the meter pointing directly at the projector lens, not at the screen. Take this measurement and note the reading. We must now convert this lux reading into a unit of measure called nits, also known as candelas per square meter, or CDM2. To do this conversion, multiply your reading by your screen gain and divide this by 3.14. For example, if your lux reading is 300 and you're using a 1.3 gain screen, that would be 300 times 1.3 divided by 3.14, which is 124 nits. If you have a negative gain screen, such as a 0.85 gain, just use that value in the formula and not a negative number. We now have our measured peak nits. Now, as a complete alternative to using the lux meter, you can use a colorometer or spectro along with calibration software such as Calman or Colorspace. Although calibration and the type of meter are not covered by these lessons, here's a quick example of what a measurement using the Envy for Calman workflow looks like. Measuring with a colorometer or spectro and calibration software has some advantages, such as reading directly off the screen and taking the actual screen gain into account rather than relying on gain specifications from the manufacturer. This is the most accurate way to measure your peak nits and very convenient if you're also performing calibration. However, if you're not equipped to perform a calibration or prefer the convenience of using a simple handheld light meter, using a lux meter will do just fine. Please note that using a lux meter only works with projection systems. You cannot use a lux meter to measure a flat panel or video wall by facing it at the screen. For these displays, you must use an appropriate colorometer or spectro and measure using a 100% full screen white pattern with calibration software. It's important to note that this reading will likely be much lower than the display's brightness specifications, since those specs are based on a much smaller screen area. And for our purposes, we need to measure it with a full screen pattern. For instance, it's not unusual for a display to have a specification of over 1,000 nits, but only measure with this technique 125 to 200 nits, roughly speaking. That's perfectly fine, and this is the value you should set in the Envy, not the display's brightness from its specification. 
you're now well prepared to measure the peak luminance of your display. Just remember to do so only after the display is fully set up and calibrated if you're doing so. This value should be entered in the measured peak luminance setting in the display configuration menu, as you see here. Now that you know how to measure the peak luminance of your display, it's time to move on to our next lesson.